welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, to the debut production of The Merry Rogues. Uh, this is the third and final night of Roy and Jules. It's been a lot of fun, and we hope you will enjoy our wonderful, well, sort of wonderful show. Good morning, cousin. Uh, you look pale. What ails you? Hi, me, cousin. No physical ailment. I'm only sick with my grief. As far as the cancer that eats in my stomach. Well, do not let your stomach upset itself on me. I'm in the throes of anguish. More like the throes of a hangover. A heartless cousin. And so, will you gripe or will you talk to me? It is possible. Oh, God. It is not as you think. It is exactly as I think. It is over a woman. A woman I do not love. Then why bother to make yourself ill over her? Father has arranged for me to marry her. That is not so horrible a fate. Are you off your rocker? The richest woman in England. And beautiful as well? You're either blind, daft, or dare My lord! Your father should just speak with you. I have several words for him, none of them complimentary. He would use your presents immediately. Or your boy you in oil. Does he promise? God's thumbs, marriage to Rosamond cannot be so terrible. Have you seen the woman? I. Then you understand my plight. No. I would sooner bet a bite Papa. Funny, sir. Hilarious, even. But that snake might be your only company if you don't come on. To hell with my father. Roy, Roy, gentle cousin, be calm. It is panic, Bertie. If I must marry Rosamond, I would throw myself into the tanks. Don't do that. Talk to him. Convince him to call off the engagement. Oh, and pray tell, how am I to do that? I do not have your honey voice, nor my fist of sharp tongue. I only have tiresome complaints. My words be as effective as a cat scratching the nose of a barnyard dog. Would you rather marry Rosamond? I would rather die. That is not an option. Oh, <laughs> and by whose authority is it not? Mine. So, so, so. Very well. I will speak with my father. Good lad. I am only one year your junior. Do not good lad me. I assure you, it makes all the difference. Now go to. My own cousin throw me to the wolves. Onward, good page, to the noose. Now I have to go in with Mephisto. We're going shopping. Starting tomorrow? Starting today. Best to waste no time. 
Fairly well, sir. Eleven o'clock. I think I'm off to go have sex with my wife. Let us hie away to the closet, for you are not going anywhere in that. 